Hey everyone, welcome back to Care Fiction. I'm your host Subhankar. The fifth installment of the Indiana Jones is dropping soon, and sadly, this is gonna be Harrison Ford's last movie as the archaeologist. But let's look at the bright side. For instance, going by the franchise's traditions, we are getting a new object of mystery: the Dial of Destiny. And by the established precedent, the previous objects did resemble real historical artifacts like the Ark of the Covenant, the Holy Grail, and the Crystal Skulls. So, what exactly is the Dial of Destiny, and what real artifact is it inspired from? I got a theory, so let's check that. My theory hinges on the assumption that the dial has some powers to manipulate time. And if it's about time, then how about the Antikythera mechanism? In 1901, sea divers retrieved a host of objects from the shipwreck of the coast of the Greek island of Antikythera. Among them was what at first appeared to be a hunk of metal with mold. But after years of studies and research, it is described as the oldest known example of an analog computer. Long story short, it is used to predict astronomical positions and eclipses decades in advance. Here is the thing: it was found in Antikythera, which doesn't mean that it originated from there. There are a lot of theories on who created it and when, but one thing's for sure: it is Greek technology. But for the sake of curiosity, let's look at a few. The wreckage also contained Rhodian-styled vases, leading to a hypothesis that it was constructed by the Stoic philosopher Posidonius at his workshop. And according to the Roman historian Cicero, Posidonius made a similar model of the heavens in the first century BC. Numerous studies also say that the device was constructed between 170 to 100 BC, and a recent study says that it could be 205 BC. Seven years after the death of Archimedes, research suggested that the concept for the mechanism may have originated in the colonies of Corinth, like Syracuse, which is also the home of Archimedes. And get this: whoever made this device had an advanced knowledge of astronomy, mathematics, metallurgy, and engineering. Of course, it's not that simple. It's mind-bogglingly complex even for today. But let me water it down for you. It is made up of at least 82 known fragments in the form of precision gears and interlocking wheels. But instead of hours and minutes, they display celestial time. For the Sun, Moon, and the five planets visible to the naked eye, Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn. On the front face of the dial are two concentric circular scales. The inner scale marks the Greek signs of the zodiac with divisions in 30 degrees for each. The outer rings has markings of what appears to be days of a calendar year. Some say it could be a 354-day year or a 365-day like the Egyptian calendar. Also, the zodiac signs and the arithmetic behind it matches the Babylonian customs. The months in the dial are Egyptian names but transcribed into the Greek alphabet. The back face was used to track and predict solar and lunar eclipses. Basically, there were five dials which were used to keep track of the lunar cycles. These dials also calculated the timing of major athletic events and festivals, like the Olympiad dial for the Olympics, the festival of Na at Dodonia, and Helia at Rhodes. There is also another dial that visualizes agricultural seasons. I know I am pushing my theory a little further, but only time will tell. However, if you are interested to know more about this excruciatingly complex ancient computer, there are plenty of online resources. Or let me know in the comments, I can make a video. Thank you for watching this video and see you soon.